Welcome to Playmaker Pro 5 for the Macintosh. Now, Playmaker Pro has been used by thousands of coaches for decades to draw plays for playbooks and handouts and to do presentations. The strength of Playmaker Pro is that you get to lay out the page any way you like so you can do whatever you want. When we draw plays with Playmaker Pro, we store them in documents, and a document can have one or more pages. And on the page, you'll find sets of players, lines, boxes, and text. And you can put those elements anywhere on the page. And those four elements also have lots of different variations that you can use. In this example, we have a play drawn at the top of the page and player instructions or player notes at the bottom of the page. And this page layout works really well for doing presentations. So let's click on the Show button and Playmaker Pro will create a nice clean screen for us for doing a presentation. Now when you have player notes in the page, you can click on a player and balloons will appear showing the instructions for that particular player. You can also click on routes to reveal routes. You can click on boxes to reveal boxes and also text. If you want to highlight something in particular, you can draw scribbles. You can also animate the play. Now in this example, the coach has drawn a large play at the top of the page with smaller variations in the middle and instructions for players at the bottom. You can draw special teams plays with Playmaker Pro. In fact, if you like, you can draw an entire football field complete with end zones on a page. This coach likes to use color when he draws plays. He's drawn two plays per page. Some coaches like to use a particular color for a particular player in a play, so when they do a presentation, the players can look up and they can find themselves in the drawing really quickly. This coach likes to draw four plays per page. This NFL coach likes to draw six plays per page. You can draw seven plays per page if you like, or even eight plays per page. But the message here is that you get to lay out the page any way you like, so you'll find lots of things you can use Playmaker Pro for. You can also create documents that are in the landscape format where the paper goes sideways instead of up and down. Coaches often draw large plays on landscape pages to create cards to hold over their head in practice. So let's quickly recap that in Playmaker Pro we draw players, lines, boxes, and text, and we can lay those out on the page any way that we like. Now if you've used Playmaker before, you can see some new things in the Playmaker window. So let's do a quick window tour. We still have tools in the toolbar that we use to create things like plays, lines, boxes, and text. There's a view scale pop-up menu so you can change the view scale of the drawing area. There's a table of contents that shows you all the pages in a document. And if we pick a piece of text on a page, we can designate that text as the page title. And it'll show up in the table of contents. So now you can really navigate within a document really easily. We also display the template library on the window so that you can use that easily as well. So what's new in version 5 for the Macintosh? It's been recreated with modern Apple technologies. It supports retina displays. It uses Apple's document architecture, which gives us things like an open recent menu, as well as a lot of other things. Text editing now has spell and grammar checking, and you can dictate if you like. There's five steps of undo and also redo. There's a new format menu where you set the attributes of players, lines, boxes, and text. So all of the attributes are in one place. 
There's also a commands menu where you'll find a lot of commands that you've seen in previous versions of Playmaker Pro. When you're moving things around the page, there's alignment guides, trackpad users can use gestures, there's standard Apple help, so you've got documentation that's right there. Animation is smoother, there's the table of contents and the template library with lists in the window. When you draw players that are O's, they can be ovals or they can be circles. All player symbols can be rotated. You can attach images so you can get a team logo in a document. You can do presentations on a secondary display like a television or a projector. And those presentations can be recorded in an MPEG-4 video file that you can upload to Huddle. The template library can be exported so you can share your library with another coach and he can import it and you can also append somebody else's library to your library. So that's what's new with Playmaker Pro 5 for the Macintosh.